uh, geotechnical investigation, Bargo Road reconstruction. Uh, motion of the Borough Council regarding a geotechnical investigation to identify soil conditions to be encountered prior to the reconstruction of Margaret Hill Road. The cost of the project, project is $14,000. Question for Joe Sessions. Sure, yes. We, we feel that there's wire infiltration under there that's causing this problem. Well, I think there's a, a belief that there might be some water infiltration that has caused the pavement to fill on that segment of our road. And, you know, we, without doing the core borings and, you know, finding out what the substrata actually consists of and trying to find out at what elevation there's water, if it exists, this is the only way it can be done. I mean, the, the, the specification that was put together and put out to bid for the contractors to make the repairs consisted of excavating approximately about 18 to 20 inches, putting a six inch under drain in, putting about a foot of number fours, choking it off with some two A stone, and then putting our, our pavement section on top of that to support the weight. So, you know. You know, we talk, you know, having the under drain there is one way of capturing any water, but you know, who's to say there might be water below that elevation that's more excavated? I mean, the cross section we have is a, a heavy duty cross section consisting of number four stones. And you look at most of the roads that have ever been built in the original, we built and resurfaced them. We always find number four stones. So whoever built the roads in Bridgeville, in the residential belts, did a good job. So, so your your hopes are the testimony will be able to see if you've got something. That, that would re that would reveal anything if it's there. It's a, it's a, a tough pill to swallow. It's a tough pill to swallow. Yes. I have a question for you, Joe. Sure. Is, are we just going it in the in the area where it's rippled, or no. are you going to do it down the road? Yeah. So also? We're, we're not going in front of sill holes. No, I mean towards sill holes. We're going to allow space patches along. We're going to start at Union and work our way up to the block. Because that section heading towards sill holes on the left hand side where they got it marked off, I mean, it's all crushed out. Right, so that's what I want to do. That part out is where we're going to make repairs. Where that one sewer is, um, it's all collapsed around there, too. So. It had been suggested to me, Joe, with the possibility of a French drain on, on the hillside part of it from Barrio. Mm -hmm. What's what's your thought on the feasibility of something like that? It, it's a it's a possibility, you know, um, it's something that we can consider to do if we find that there's water getting underneath the pavement in that area, but we don't have any repairs. I mean, uh, I'll tell you this: when we we did the military services back in 2014, and we proofed the road with a loaded truck. We didn't have any movement, we didn't have any water coming up. So where the water is coming from is a, is a geological anomaly. You know, the only way we're going to find the location bill is if we do the drilling. So, yeah, yeah. But, but I, won't, I won't rule out an under drain, we can always add it in. I'm going to profess to be an expert in this and all, right. but as I look, when it was suggested to me, and I went down and looked, that hillside comes down pretty close. It's pretty, it's pretty steep, and it's a, it's a, you know, it's a shelly material that's got a lot of water probably percolating out to it at different times of year, probably more so in the springtime than in the summer and fall. So to do a, a French drain like that, you would have to dig back to the hillside. You just dig back to the hillside or dig along the, the curb line. And you'd probably have to stabilize it a little bit. No, you wouldn't have to. I think you could stay away from the hill. You want to incur them. You don't want you don't want to destroy the mill side. Well yeah, that was my, my yeah. concern when I was right. looking at it. That's right. why yeah. maybe some questions. There is no water line underneath that section of the power hill. No, there is confirm no. that. We confirmed that. But there are two sanitary at least two sanitary sources. And I'm sorry, uh, not sanitary sources, uh, storm sources. We've checked the pattern. And you checked the piping in them, you camera them? Yes. And there's no damage. And when was the CCTV done on the sanitary source? I can't recall when it was done, but we checked our records pat. And if, it, if there was damage to the sanitary sewers, it would have been done, it would have been put into one of our sanitary sewer point repair projects. 
Yeah. All right, sweet. And I think we did the issue before we did the reconstruction back in work. We have not tampered it since the reconstruction, correct? No. Okay. What is, we're supposed to camera every so many years anyway? Yeah, we're Does it make sense for us to run a camera through the sanitary sort of to see whether or not it's five years down there? <coughs> we do it every five years. This has been at least three since the reconstruction. It's not even as, as something special, but just as part of our normal CCTV, you know, making dirty movies. Well, we don't camera every three years, but if council wants us to do that, we so we could do that. For, for this one to see if it's been collapsed, and you are telling me that the storm sort has been cameraed after the reconstruction. Yes, it was. It was for the fall of the storm. That was the sanitary sort. Scratch this out. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, General, gentlemen, ladies, and engineer. I spoke to Joe for about 45 minutes today since I've been involved in this for years and years. Um, I believe what you do now may be, be the right thing. We really don't know if we have water up yet. We have no idea if we have water till this morning test will be done. Now, when it was worse and buggy, it, nothing happened a hundred years ago. That road was fine here. Yeah. Only once we have this situation here is that road is going to collapse tomorrow? No. Of course, I'm not an engineer. I remember that. But it takes longer than that for a collapse. There will be more additional vision things for collapse of the road tomorrow. It collapse in one year? I don't know. Nobody knows. I hope that council not to prove this, uh, not this now, this I think they do the right thing. But two years ago I said, let's wait. We have a very uh, light winter this year, so we really can't tell what's happening. I believe the only way to see what's underneath there, it is to do the very test. But so we think that the road is going to go down in one year. I don't think so. It would have to be really something. It's something that you council got to uh, agree uh, what you want to do. You want to hold it uh, more. You want to get this out of the way and do it. You really don't know what you come up with. I have an experience on, uh, on Trishfield a few years ago. I don't know if you get it. By the way, Get to Engineer is a fine organization. They're engineered for anything you want to do. This might not be just just a game. They have a meeting. They tell each other what's, what's happening in all the respect. And I'm sure they come up with this decision. Very good decision. If this is going to be the right things, nobody knows. I remember a few years ago we did Trishfield. I don't know if you get where was the engineer. Only once the contractor called me, being public work for this to be here, uh, it, was, it was a whole by in front of Dico's home. Everybody remember Dico's and uh, Trishfield. Well, I see what I have to no water there. So they put an F ton of stone that kept on going down. Then they put two tons of stone and kept on going down. <coughs> then they put three trucks of stone, finally it's gone. For three, four months, stabilized. We, I don't think we have a mine over there with these gates, in my opinion. That could have been over there. But we took our time to see if we actually stabilized the road. I believe strongly if you worry about this road, go ahead and approve the engineer's suggestion. There's no guarantee that this is going to happen, that they're going to find it. There's no way. It's impossible. We understand that, but it's... you got to do something. Those, yeah. They want to do something. Lori wanted to do something. The residents want to do something. I think it's a good idea to take this extra step to see where what the heck is goes on over there? I don't think it's water. It might be. 
but you will have an idea to pursue a French claim of which the water. What do you want to do? Well, if you do that and you see the water where it's at, then that French claim might be the solution. Yeah, that's but right. If we don't do this, we, we put a French you don't know. If we're doing it, then we might be just putting back. So you know. it's, it's, it's one thing. Then if you do, then if you don't. Lori wants to do it, Joe wants to do it, you want to do it. So which your choice? Yeah. You'll find out you'll find out in two minutes. <laughs> 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 Worse, I guess. Yeah, you just said you had it since those. Oh, okay. Hammer that. It's a lot cheaper, isn't it? Yes, guys. History. Under most of Bridgeville, not only coal mines, but spring water. Absolutely. When they tore down Greg Avenue High School, our Bridgeville High School, and they started to build, they realized they had to get more pylon because they were building on top of natural springs. So, Find out what it is, yeah, so please. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. Neil, uh, motion for the first. Uh, for the second by Neil Lines. Uh, all those in favor? All right. All right. All those opposed? Motion carries. Mr. President. Yes, sir. Uh, regarding the idea of hammering and sanitary schools as part of our sort of normal process, but doing it before or in conjunction with this stuff. We'll do it before. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Roy. All right. <clears throat> Current estimate number one.